here for the opening of Star Wars. Yeah. I won't be here for the opening of Star Wars, by the way. I mostly grown adults. One child. How how old is that? How old are you? I don't know why I said how old is that? You're a person. How old is that? What is that? Huh? You have three? <laughs> I have an eight-year-old in bed right now. <laughs> She's like, I'm three. This is, uh, we just did a twofer. We saw Ford versus Ferrari right before you. <laughs> you know what? You know who I am? This is going to terrify you. I'm Olaf. <laughs> She's like, that's crazy. Why do you have this voice? Uh, so excited after six years of anticipation, we finally have a Frozen 2. And guys, I'm not going to lie, it's so good. I've seen it four times. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. You're going to sing. You're going to fall asleep. <laughs> You are going to have such a good time tonight, but I want to apologize ahead of time because there's some stuff in this movie that is going to make you leave this theater and go home and sing for the next year. There's a little song called Into the Unknown that I can't get out of my head, especially the little... It's going to haunt you, trust me. Jonathan Groff and I are getting therapy right now for that song. Wait, no, he's not. You're just going to have to settle for the other guy. Bring the sexy guy. I'm talking with you. He's my co-star. Can you say ghost? Jonathan Groff, I'm not going to tell her the ghost. She's like, what is happening right now? Since we make two movies have people come out beforehand and talk to them. Uh, I know why you're here. I want you to see this movie. Enjoy it. Love it. Talk about it with your friends. Independent films like Frozen 2. We need... In order for these movies to get made, we need audiences like you to talk about them with other people. Uh, also, uh, FYI, there's a little special thing at the end of the movie. Uh, all I'm going to tell you is Tony Stark yeah. is not a part of this film. Ladies and gentlemen, 